Hi, and welcome to another episode of Dealing TV q and I'm Mike, and I'm here with George. And we're here to answer your questions live on the interwebs. So, uh, I have to go to. Yes. <laughs> so, what we do is we take your questions and we answer them right here. If you point your browser to www.dealingtv.com, you can fill out a little web form and have your questions answered. So, today we're doing home networking questions. Indeed. We got some uh, different random questions on different topics. So that's what we're going to go to. <laughs> Frank in Port Jervis, New York asks, he just got wireless cards for his kid's PC, but even though the cards are rated at 100 megabits per second, he's only getting 54 megabits per second out of them. He's using the D-Link DIR635, which was one of the draft end routers. Right. Okay, and this is also a common issue, is that the boxes for the, what sounds like you've got is 802.11G adapters. And so they're often labeled as 108 megabit or 125 megabit, depending on who the, the chip vendor was for this, right. the internals chips. And they're often, they've got names like Turbo G or Super G or there's other modes, you know, marketing names for it. But we won't mention those. And so the thing is that that's not a standard, an approved standard. The 802.11G is only approved up to 54 megabits right. for interoperability. And so the other modes are proprietary. And so if you have... I think a network that's all of the same vendor, same family, because sometimes for a given vendor, they'll have some parts that do one mode and some that do another. So like D-Link made the Extreme G family of products were 108 megabits per second. Right. So if you ran all Extreme G products, you could get 108 megabits per second. There you go. But the DR635 is an 802.11 draft end product, and so it's fully standard compliant, which means it's compliant with the approved standard for 802.11G and B, right. but not for the proprietary standards. And so it'll do 54 meg G just fine. Now, you probably would like to see the 100 or 108 that the box talked about, but you're still going to get better range and probably better throughput with your draft end router because of the fact that with the multiple antennas, it handles interference better through walls and things like that. And so at a given distance, your end router is likely to allow your G adapters to get better actual performance right. than they would have if it was all G. Right. And plus this way you're more future-proof because as you you upgrade your laptops, your PCs, more and more of them are starting to come out with N built in, and now you're already prepared for it. Yes. So good choice on the router, and it's a very good question. It's kind of confusing sometimes. Absolutely. So uh, I guess the key would be try and, you know, get stuff that fits into the same family. The right. DIR635 was from the Range Booster N650 family. And, the, and it, keep in mind that the 54 megabit is the raw data rate. Your actual usable throughput is probably in the low 20 megabit range which is still far faster than your internet link is going to be unless you've right. got just the most screaming hot internet connection out there. And so you're going to be quite happy with the performance anyway. Okay. All right. Well, so uh, let's move on. Dan in Raymondville, Missouri asks, he has a 1.5 megabit per second DSL connection and a DIR655 router. The built-in NIC in his computer is a 10100. Would he get any more speed by switching to a gigabit NIC? Okay. And so what this brings up is the fact that the DIR655 has full gigabit ports on all of its wired ports. That's where I was jumping ahead. Right. And so they do support 10100 automatically, but they also will support gigabit if you have a gigabit device plugged into it. Right. And so the question, he brings up a really good point, that his internet connection is only 1.5 megabit. And so no matter how fast you go from your PC to your router, if all you're doing is going to the internet, it's going to slow down and wait. It's doing, it's doing a bottleneck thing of having to get through that 1.5 megabits per second. It's kind of like you're racing down the on-ramp and then stopping at the bottom to get on the freeway. Yeah, that's, you don't get the your, your internet connection is like, you know, <laughs> one thousandth the speed, right. you know, of the, the ports. But if you had a device like the DNS-323, right. the storage device that has gig ports on it, and you're transferring from your PC to it, now you're, you're getting the benefits of gigabit right. speed. Or even if you're using your PC as, say, a server, and you've got multiple other PCs and you're sharing files, if, even if the other PCs are 10100, if that one PC that acts as a server has a gigabit link, you'll get better performance overall going between them because of the fact that you can go better than 100 megabits in and out of that one machine. So theoretically, you could have 10 10100 machines sucking off the gigabit right. of the <laughs> server you know, machine, you know, so yeah, basically, yeah. you bought, you made a great choice in the router because you're very future-proof. So you've yeah. got the state-of-the-art wireless technology as well as gigabit links. And so if you do add network storage, you add more computers, you can go and upgrade your NIC quite cheaply because the price of those have come way down. Right, and, yeah, you can get a gigabit NIC. Right. For and so dirt. within your LAN, you'll see better performance. But going to the WAN, you know, DSL is what it is. And if, you're, if your PC has a uh, PCI Express uh, 
you know, socket in it and you want to get gig, try and get a PCI Express gig card. Uh, if your PC yeah. doesn't have the PCI Express, you're going to have to go with PCI. Because the PCI Express is more efficient. It's, you know, sort of the next generation of PCI. Yep. Okay, well, that does it for today's questions on home networking. Um, I'm Mike. And I'm George. And uh, thank you for watching. And send your questions in to oh. dlinktv.com, and you just might get answered here. There you Thanks go. Thanks for watching. Thank you.